Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. There's two ways of making an instant chart in Microsoft Excel. Firstly, highlight the area that you want to chart. First shortcut, Alt F1, gives you an instant chart in the same sheet. Secondly, highlight the area you want, F11 on its own, a new chart in a new sheet. Once you've got this chart, you can change the design and the format and even the chart type using the standard toolbar buttons in Excel. Sometimes the formula bar just won't fit the text you need in it. And so Control C for you will expand the formula bar so you can read everything that's in there, whether it be a long formula or a long piece of text. And Control Shift U again will close it. Also, if you want more space on your screen, Control F1 will collapse the ribbon and allow you to see perhaps totals at the bottom. Control F1 again will put it back. Auto filter is a brilliant command. Click anywhere on the sheet, Control Shift L, filters appear. Normally you can click on these and do whatever you like, but if you click in the header, Alt and the down arrow will bring that up manually and you can scroll around and do untick or tick any you like. Now, let's say we've unticked them all apart from regular air and on here we picked a particular customer name. But say we now just want to go to another customer. Well, if we go on there again, Alt down and then just hit the letter C, we clear that particular columns filter. And if we want to click them all, we can always do Control Shift L to get rid of all filters or put them back on again straight afterwards. A really quick way of putting totals and subtotals onto a table of numbers is the shortcut key Alt equals. Alt equals, pick up everything above and you can hit enter. But what if we had filtered the data and just had a few on there? That will give you necessarily the wrong answer. But again, if you use the shortcut key on filtered data, it automatically detects you want a subtotal nine, which will only sum, sum what is showing. So there you go. Data and formula entry shortcuts can save you a whole host of time. So first up, fill down. If I put this formula in here for the profit percentage, highlight the area I want that formula, control D, fill down. Excellent. Right, even better perhaps, flash fill. So say I want first name in this column, all I need to do is type in the first name there, Alicia, and then control E, and it will recognize whatever pattern it thinks it's recognized, fill all the way down the column. Isn't that great? Bulk entry then. So I want to put a formula in here, but first I know it's all going to go down through there. So then I type equals, then put the formula link there and uh, control enter and in it goes across the entire range. Right, fill across, control R, profit percentage this direction, profit divided by sales, highlight across there, control R, there you go. To navigate around an Excel sheet without a mouse, use the arrow keys with either Control or Shift, depending on what you want to do. So Control up moves to the top of your selection. Control right to the end of it. Control down, Control left, Control up again. But if you hold down Shift, you highlight as you go. Control to the right, highlights to the right. Control down, highlights everything down. Control left, highlights back up there. And then control up in this case would do that. Now, if you are outside of data areas, 
and you do this, control right will take it all the way to the end of the spreadsheet and control left will take you to the nearest data and that works in all directions. Control down, control up, again control up. Also if you hit control home you'll go to the top left of the spreadsheet and control end will go to the last populated cell on the spreadsheet but will also if a cell has previously been populated it will also highlight that again control shift home will highlight to there and then you can then go control shift left control shift down to highlight that area once you've done control home you can also do control end to get everything highlighted There are also two ways in which you can make your own shortcut keys as well. The first is very simple. Firstly, you need to add the command you want the shortcut for to your quick access toolbar. And the way you do that is you click on the customized quick access toolbar up there, go to more commands. And uh, for example, I'm going to pick refresh all, which is if you've got a lot of pivot tables, very useful. Click in there, click OK. Now once it's up there on your quick access toolbar, you can click Alt and that will give me number seven straight away to access that. So that is the first way. Secondly, by clicking, hovering over these icons, you get told what the shortcut keys are anyway. So it just so happens I've added one there. Control Alt F5 would do the job anyway. Right, the next thing is if you're doing something a bit more complicated, you can simply record it as a macro. And when you hit record macro, one of the things it asks you for is the shortcut key. I could type, and by holding down shift, I can make a, put a letter in, so I can have control shift D, for example. Uh, but the problem is, you does it allow you to pick letters that are already assigned to other shortcuts. So be very careful which letter you pick if you're going to go down this route. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.